Hi everyone and welcome to Isamu Rat Care. So I'm going to um, talk a little bit about wheels today. Um, this is a topic that's come up quite regularly and it's controversial sometimes on both sides of the argument as well. So I'm going to try and give you a little bit of the kind of facts and reasoning behind wheels. Um, look at why we use them, what kind of size wheels are safe and appropriate for the rats to use. Um, and talk a little bit about um, structure of a rat and what makes wheels good and bad um, for use and I have a few props and maybe one or two of the rats might come and join me at some point if I run off madly at any point and the babies are free ranging over there um, not really supervised so um, I, I'll, I might have to run off and stop someone doing something stupid at some point and the girls are free ranging as usual too so that's going to be added fun right so wheels um, I have a demonstration wheel here um, this is a 12 inch silent spinner it's a wheel that I occasionally use um, it's not currently in use my other um, three preferred wheels are in use um, I've got three cages on the go at the moment with the babies and my oldies um, but I'm not getting them out of the cage because it's quite hard work um, so why do people use wheels um, rat wheels kind of offer, offer the rats a chance to run in quite um, a kind of free-flowing way if they're appropriately sized so the rats will then be able to kind of stretch their legs out and kind of properly build up speed and kind of bounce run leap um, in in a good sized wheel within a, a cage space which would normally not let them run that so when i have my rats free ro roaming over the um garage floor here um, they can leap, run, bound, whereas if they're in the cage they're not going to have that space. As much as it's quite a good sized cage there's plenty of opportunities for them do, to do stuff. They can't get as much exercise in there as they can, at least running exercise in there without a wheel as they, they could with a wheel. Um, and there's actually been scientific studies which have proven that rats um, who regularly wheel run will live longer. Now on paper that's straight away saying okay everybody should have a wheel but it's not quite so simple as that. So the studies basically say that are based on lab rats in kind of lab conditions which means small low enrichment generally only with one or kind of two companions at most um, so they don't have a kind of really enriched life anyway and they don't have a lot of opportunities for um, exercise so really what that's saying is rats that voluntarily exercise live longer which makes sense we all know exercise is good for us um, so it's along those lines but one thing that has also been proven is if they put a wheel out in the wild so in a situation where kind of wild animals can come and access it wild rats will choose quite often to run in the wheel they find it quite fun and enjoyable if you think a rat with everywhere in the world to run would not bother with a wheel but i find um, even on free range if i've got a kind of wheel set up for some reason mine will often come and run on it just because they quite enjoy it it's a bit like a running machine <laughs> i suppose um, so they are kind of things that rats can enjoy quite a lot and in a kind of space where you've got like a like cage where you've got limited space to offer running opportunities a wheel's a good option um, however it's not a case of offering any wheel um, you've got to think about the rats and you've got to make sure they are um, safe to use it and you'll hear all sorts of things about this saying you must use this this size or this size for rats or this is the only right way and and it isn't as simple as that and i want to kind of explain why so you can make your own informed choice about the what, what the right size wheel is for you um i should say a lot of people say about wheels that um a wheel must be big enough for a rat to run fully stretched out including their tail um so let's just borrow a, an appropriate rat we have a chocobo so you can see chocobo is quite a long girl she has a good long tail so some people believe that in order for chocobo to run um, safely on a wheel her tail and her back should be perfectly straight um, now I want to show you a little bit um, of something to explain why it's actually the, the spine and the um, tail are quite different objects so this is um, very delicate so if the rats come up I might be removing them um, this is an actual rat skeleton that um, um, my lovely friend Lisa over at Lovecraft bought for me. And this is a really good way of demonstrating um, how there's quite a substantial difference in the structure of the spine here versus the tail. Now, I'm an engineer by, by background, so this is kind of um, my comfort zone looking at the structure of things, but I'll try and explain it. So if you notice the spine, the spine is designed to flex. Um, 
it's it's basically armour around our spinal column, which is our set of wiring, if you want to go from an engineering point of view, which sends all the signals around the body. Very, very important part of any, any animal. Um, it's designed to flex because we need to be able to bend to move around and everything. Um, it's exactly the same for the rats. Um, they're probably more agile than us, so if anything, they're probably more flexible than us. But it's not designed to bend too far because you've got this big, thick wire going down the middle of it that if you bend too much will potentially damage. Um, so it's designed to flex to a bit. And if you can see, if you're looking at the vertebrae here, they're quite short and quite wide with the kind of spikes on there. And that's to make sure that it flexes to a point but doesn't flex too far. Now, if you have a look at this tail here, so on a rat, it's, it's, we can't really equate to us for this, but their tail is much more flexible. So for them, their tail is all about balance. It's all about being able to hold it all sorts of different angles so that they can feel secure and safe and balanced when they're running, climbing, walking, balancing. Um, and as you can see, if you look down here, the vertebrae on the tail is quite different. And that is because the actual kind of nerve that's passing through the tail, the kind of um, the wiring again is much thinner it doesn't need to carry as much information this spinal column here tells the legs what to do tells all sorts of various organs in the body what to do it's a real highway of information so it needs to be really thick um, whereas once you get down here there's not much it's, it only needs like quite a thin strand particularly once it's get down to this tip there's there's not really much information to it for it to carry other than if you kind of pinch the end of the tail so to make them squeak or something um, that's that's literally all it's carrying it's kind of a sensation thing rather than all the complicated stuff that the spinal column ca carries so this is where we have these much thinner much less protected and actually much more flexible um, bones so when we're thinking about how a rat should run in a wheel the thing we really want to look at is to make sure this spine so this this area here um, we want to make sure that this is held in a comfortable straight position and why by straight rats are um, don't actually naturally run with a perfectly flat spine they have kind of an arch over the loins and a kind of small dip where the head's held but you don't want them to be kind of bent in an abnormal position you want them to be kind of running quite flat quite smooth and the tail can be held up in the air it can be looped around and um, people talk about wheel tail um which is something i'll just put this back on and grab chocobo again don't really want the rats to jump on this they would destroy it very quickly right so wheel tail on a rat is when the tail and the rat holds it so that it loops. Yeah, I would pick the wiggliest rat I've got at the moment. Um, short of the babies, actually. So they hold it and loop it round. And it can sometimes look almost like a pigtail. It just doesn't look like a pigtail, does it? Um, and there is a belief in some quarters that that's caused by the rats running in the wheel, hence the name wheel tail. Um, this isn't true. It's very much a kind of muscular thing. Um, some rats develop the habit without ever using a wheel um, just because it's comfortable for them to hold the tail in that position. Much like some people when they're kind of moving around, sitting, standing, may hold the legs crossed or in different positions that seems um, abnormally uncomfortable to you, but it's actually quite comfy for them. So I've swapped rats, hopefully a slightly calmer one. So what we're looking for, the position we're looking for in the rats is to maintain the kind of rise over the rump but keep them kind of if you have a look how um things walking that kind of smooth kind of line gradually going up that's kind of optimum running position um unless they're getting into a gallop and if you've ever seen a rat gallop they will kind of bunch their body up and then get like both legs down so they'll be lifting all the legs off at the same time and and then you will see a kind of different gait to what you would see um should a rat just be kind of trotting gently which is what they mostly do on wheels to be honest so that's what we want. And the dimension that matters for this is to do with this space here. So when we're thinking about it, the rats will be putting their paws in one area and the paws in another area and then kind of moving gradually as they stride. Um, so what we want is to make sure there's a decent, I call this, I call this it's kind of mathematical term, which is a cord. So it's a line that goes across, which is about the right height for the rats to be able to get the feet out and doesn't mean that they're kind of bending their body. Now, let's see if the thing will at least sit in the wheel. I don't think I can hold it so much. Can run? Do you want to try running? No, she's like, what's this wheel? This isn't a normal wheel. <laughs> but you can see straight away, out of there, she has a little go. That's prospect. But actually, she's kind of leaning up the wheel there. Um, and I will say, my girls are long. Um, it's 
partly to do with the way I breed them. Um, I like quite long, kind of fit, healthy rats that can do a lot, but they are longer than normal. So you saw a thing there was having to kind of pull up the wheel a bit and she couldn't fully get her bo body stretched out. Now, for my adult girls, I find the 12 inch wheel is a little bit small. However, I've used that with other adult girls in the past that have a shorter body length and they've been absolutely fine on it. They've run on it absolutely fine. Um, so it's one that you need to be aware and watch them when they're running. Um, because they will kind of show you. I mean, Mog's a particularly long rat, so um, she, she, and actually quite a lot of mine are, um, so she kind of is happiest. Well, she's got a 14 inch wheel at the moment with the babies. She actually, when she puts back in the main cage with the rest of the group, she goes to a 16 inch and runs on it much faster because she can get a bit of speed up on there and she can stretch herself out more. Whereas the wheel and the 14 inch are kind of trots gently. The babies, meanwhile, just fly on, um, on that wheel and really do enjoy themselves. So it is, it's a case of, it needs to be suitable to the rat, so there isn't one rule for every rat. Um, I've found, generally speaking, that if you're talking about a um, 12 inch wheel, you're looking for those that are kind of small to medium size, um, those that perhaps maybe don't run as fast as others, so um, if a doe's really going to get into it and really race, or any rat, they're going to need a bigger wheel potentially than a rat that's just going to kind of trot gradually because it, it doesn't kind of put the same forces through them. Um, and if you, sorry, everybody's now trying to get, I've got some mealworms um, that I'm, I'm trying to kind of help live in a little t terrarium and um, all the girls want to meet the mealworms and probably eat them. A little mealworm terrarium. Um, but as I've got my skeleton rat here, I'm somewhat kind of nervous about them doing too much. Um, yes, so that's what we're thinking. Make sure it's appropriate size. So 12 inch is generally for small bodied girls. Um, or it could be young rats, um, though actually it does depend on the young rat as well because you could find that if you've got some really young rats, like young kittens, um, let's say six, seven weeks, that they'll actually fit on a slightly smaller wheel. And there is a smaller wheel, which is sadly the only one that you can seemingly get hold of reliably from pet shops nowadays, which I'll pop a picture up of it um, so you can see it. But that is really... It's not suitable for the majority, for the vast majority of adult rats. If you've got a dwarf or another similarly kind of very stunted growth adult rat, it might get away with it. But generally speaking, whenever you see a rat even sat in that, never mind trying to run in it, it can't kind of get get the body length out there. The kittens at the age they are at the moment will probably get on fine with it. Um, they're quite small little rats. Um, maybe I grab one once I've removed the many adult rats that have come to visit the mealworms. <laughs> and I might just nick this back. Right, baby rat. Yeah, right, we have a baby rat. So this is actually my biggest baby rat. And you look at the size of him um, compared to the adults. And let's pop him in my demo wheel. Just the same. And you can see straight away that it's a very different size that he's um, he is in relation to that wheel. If you look at that cord again, that line across the bottom, he can stretch his body out fully on it. Hey, come on, come on, beefcake. He's a little bit nervous. <laughs> he's not really used to kind of, whilst he's got a wheel in his cage, he's not really used to having to do it on free range, are you? Have you, mister? So beefcake has done his assistance. I'll pop him back. Um, a sec, so he can play. Good boy. But you can see there the kind of complete size difference and the way he could walk fully happily with his back stretched out and he had plenty of room. So if I went a, a kind of an inch smaller than that, he'd probably still be fine. However, he's in his rapid growth phase and in probably a few weeks time, he will have outgrown like anything smaller than that 12 inch and actually will probably be on his way to outgrowing the 14 inch that he's got in the cage at the moment. Um, by the time he's kind of adult, he will need a 60 inch. Um, I know the kind of size my rats will end up and the books will need a 16 inch or bigger. Uh, sadly, I don't think they do bigger anymore or anywhere I've found, but um, that's the kind of size that you're thinking of. And there is quite a difference in size. I'm gonna put up a really good picture um, by Mary Giles, which kind of shows the um, four main different sizes available on the market. So you'll notice the silent spinner that we've been looking at is this kind of second smallest. Um, you see the one at the um, 
the kind of blue wheel which is quite small a smallest wheel that's the one that you can regularly get into in shops um it's it's i just wouldn't bother buying it if you kind of end up with one for some reason it can be useful for um, baby rats for a very short period of time um i have heard from from people that it makes a really good nest if you drill holes in the corners and hang it up like a little, little bucket uh, it makes a very good gerbil wheel <laughs> one of my friends has it for a gerbils but it's not great for rats so really if you're going to do it you want to invest in something a little bit bigger so then you get to your kind of 12 inch range like that silent spinner which is quite useful um, they're generally available relatively cheaply um, they're not the best quality in the world they, they do tend to break fairly regularly and um, that one's been hanging on for a while though <laughs> when it breaks i probably won't replace it um, and you can also get um, ones like Wodent Wheel, so I can pop you up a picture of a Wodent Wheel. They're quite hard to get hold of in the UK at the moment, um, but you can get similar wheels. Um, there's a brand called Trixie or Silent Runner, which they're all this kind of enclosed wheel shape with the holes in them. Um, and some rats quite enjoy those, but the biggest I've seen them go up to is about 13 inch. Um, so again, smaller books might get on well with that, um, though they'd have to be fairly small, um, which you do get, particularly pet shop rats don't tend to grow as big as you kind of big long breeder rats. Um, Chocobo is determined to get to the mealworms, I'm somewhat worried for their health. So um, yeah, so the kind of 13 inch, they're quite, they're, they're usually coming in around about 25 quid, 12 to 13 inch range. Um, you can get them online at various different places. I've not seen them in shops. And then you're talking about into the 14 and the 16 inch, which generally have to be metal wheels. Um, I haven't seen any plastic that size, just purely because of the kind of strength you need. Um, one of those brands is Tic Tac, which a lot of people uses, use in the UK. I do think there's a few different types of them. Um, Tic Tac are great though, they are very silent. They're the ones I've got 16 and 14 inch wheels of. Um, the only downside of them is they're a bastard to fit to the cage, which is why I haven't got any off the cages to demonstrate to you. But um, that's one of the things that you kind of put up with. So that's the kind of different size ranges that are generally available. Um, I would say, oh, should I should have mentioned that the Tic Tacs are expensive. So you're talking about 45, 50 quid for um, a Tic Tac. They are a worthwhile investment because they do seem to last. I've had one of mine for a couple of years now and it's still going strong, still silent. Um, and the rats still love it. Um, I'd get the biggest wheel you can afford because it saves you deciding that something's too small. I started off getting a 14 inch um, Tic Tac and I thought, oh brilliant, this is going to be great for my girls. They're used to a 16 inch, they only need, sorry, it's a 12 inch, they only need a little bit bigger. Uh, and then was just sat watching them one day and then watched somebody's video of um, similar size rats on a 16 inch and then bought a 16 inch. Now I have two and the 14 inch gets used for babies. And it's just, they just look more comfortable when they're in, running on it. And um, I would rather go for that if I can, particularly because my girls do kind of end up quite long. And it also means if I do have um, boys in my spare cage, I don't have to worry about them kind of finding the wheel uncomfortable. So we've talked about kind of what you need to look for. So why does it matter about them not bending their um, spine? So I, I spoke a little bit about the cable, the kind of spinal cord that goes through the spine. Um, when you bend the spine too far and hold it in that position for too long, it will put pressure on the spinal cord. Um, you do that for a long enough period of time and it can start um, kind of damaging it over time, causing swelling in places. It can cause discs to bulge. I think you've probably heard of um, slip discs and such in, in humans, but it can cause that kind of problem in rats. Um, some people say that it also causes headaches. Um, I don't really, other than holding their head at a bad angle, and I do know that if you hold your neck at a, a, a bad angle for a period of time, again, it will put pressure and cause kind of back of the neck aches, um, which can class as headaches. Um, I've not really seen any evidence that show that rats definitely get headaches from it. But structurally, you, much like with humans, you don't want to hold that in a bad position for too long because it will put pressure and will cause damage and will cause aching in the kind of spine and the general back area. Um, so you do want to be careful with that um, and you also want to encourage them to run if you've invested in a wheel you want to get a wheel that they will fit if most rats if the wheel is too small just won't run in it they might occasionally trot they might sit in it they might poo in it <laughs> they might eat in it um, but they're very unlikely to run in it unless it's comfortable um, and you want to be able to give them the chance to kind of run at full pelt um, if you're going to get them a wheel you want them to use it basically so invest in, in one that is a good size for the rats that you're you're um, planning to put, put on it 
Um, so that's probably it from me on wheels. Um, I personally think they're great. I do, do have them on most of my cages and that's despite having a very big free range area. But I have space in my cage um, to have a good sized wheel and without it taking too much away from their enrichment. Some smaller cages you don't have that option. Um, if you're offering a lot of free range, does it really matter about um, a wheel or if they're getting plenty of exercise anyway? No, they don't need a wheel, but it doesn't mean that it's not a nice thing for them to have. And my girls, if they're ever on intro and they don't have the wheel for any period of time, as soon as I put them into a cage with the wheel, um, you think it their birthdays have come early, they're all in there fighting over the wheel, desperate to run. So as long as my rats are enjoying it, I'm going to continue offering it, but I'm just going to make sure it's a good size for them. And it's definitely one to think about yourself. Um, don't get put off if you do try a wheel and it takes them a couple of weeks to start using it. Um, they can often be a bit nervous of new things, but it's definitely worth a try if you've um, got the space in your cage and you think it might they might enjoy it. Um, girls tend to run a bit more than boys, but I, I've had a lot of boys that have loved wheel running as well. Um, just maybe not to the same extent of speed <laughs> that the girls manage. Um, but who knows, that might be because we've not found a big enough wheel for the um, books yet. So uh, that is um, an interesting debate. But yeah, so that's it for me and the girls. Um, I hope this has been useful for you. I'm going to stick a few videos at the end of this, which have come from the lovely people on Rat Care UK, which show rats of varying sizes running in various sizes of wheels. So I'm going to stick up on that, um, the kind of age and the sex of the rat involved, um, and the size of the wheel that they're running in, and even the type of it as well, if I can. And you can also see on some of them where the rat is obviously um, a little bit big, where they've kind of and, and the pe people admit it themselves, I asked them to share videos where before they knew better they had smaller wheels and um, that's a really interesting thing to see as well because you can see straight away that the rat just doesn't look in proportion to the wheel. So have a look at those, um, make your own, own mind up and if you do go for it, make sure it's appropriate for your rats. So over and out for me and see you next time. Yeah. You know, it's a big ask. So you can do this. Yeah.